Hello. So, I've been doing research on the internet about boots quite recently, and I wasn't able to find any information about a pair of boots in particular, and that pair of boots were these, the Razorbacks in the fudge crazy color, um, the Jim Green boots, the little frog over there. I was not able to find anything about them on the internet because all the videos were from a year ago and they're from the like original styles and the original price points of this boot. So I just wanted to put this video out if anyone was looking, anyone was interested in buying, anyone was interested in this color in particular, they have more information than I did when I started this journey. So to go over, these are the Jim Green uh, Razorbacks, they're the fudge, fudge crazy color and they were $190. That is like a 30% increase since uh, what they were like a year ago when uh, like uh, Rose Anvil came out with this video and he went over these boots. I watched that video and that's what really got me onto these boots because when he put out the video they were at $140 and he said in the video that he probably thought they were like better than other boots at comparable price points. Um, mostly because they were so cheap. Now that they are $50 more. They are like the same price as premium Timberlands and that was like the main competitor between like these boots and like another thing I wanted to buy. So it was either these or Timberlands. I almost bought um, Thoroughgood Mock Toes because of it was Mocktober. He was just doing those videos and I was watching them. I did not buy those boots solely because they didn't have a heel. I wanted a heel because I'm a short boy and I need all that extra height I can get. I wanted a heel. So it was between these and like some premium Tims or one of their like different sort of colors. Um, but I wanted I wanted something in this color because I got these boots over here. I got these Doc Martens as a gift like two weeks ago or something like that. Ever since I got them, I've been wearing them to death. And when I bought them, I thought that they were, like, great. I, I have only ever heard good things about Doc Martens. And then I started doing YouTube videos. And Weston, Rose Anvil, you absolutely ruined these boots for me. <laughs> uh, I can't look at these the same anymore. These are the 1460. They're the Atlas style. It's because of the yellow stitching over here. Um, I thought they'd be great. I got them. Uh, before I got them, I started doing research. And I was like, oh, no, I just bought some lemons. But I've been wearing them. They're they're really comfortable, like off the bat. They're not crazy. I've worn them for like a week and a half, two weeks, and I don't know how worn these are compared to other docks. But they are they're squishy. They are really squishy. Like I can see sort of the rubber over here is like popping off of the sole a little. Like and everywhere I walk, I don't know if you can hear. They make they make the sound like I'm the hash slinging slasher. Like they're not. I want. I just want something different, and they're a little dressy. I don't want to be like in something dressy all day, so I was thinking like Timberlands, but I didn't want to do Timberlands because I, I just wasn't feeling the Tims. I wanted to do something a little different, so I found these instead. So these things, I got them yesterday. I wore them today. These are tanks. These things are sturdy as heck. They came in the box. They even came with a sticker. This thing's I love this thing. I need to find somewhere to put it. I, I think their logo is awesome. I'm not trying I'm not even trying to get sponsored. I'm a no one. But I just I love the logo. I like these boots. I like the Razorbacks. I like the story of the company. And I thought like these would be great. I put them on today and oh my god. This is not like the environment that these boots were intended for. I'm on concrete like twenty four seven. Um and I put these on and I ended up like running through five points Atlanta and it was painful. <laughs> it was not pleasant at all. That's probably because these are brand spanking new boots and they have, I've not broken them in at all. Maybe just like today, but they, they were not doing wonders for me toesies. So I, um, I had them laced up all the way up to the top. I was running through, I was late to work, I was running through five points trying to get to my job, and it was not pleasant. When I got there, I, I undid the top, and I just buckled through the second um, speed hook, and it was it was more comfortable, and I was, like, I'm wearing these, and they, they're sturdy boots. They, like, don't bend for nothing. Um, I'm, I'm able to lock in them fine, and, like, it's not like I have any restricted movement, but once you break them in, they'll be much better. I just, I was looking for something a little different. I didn't see anything on the internet just going over these. I don't know 
if they're any better than they were a year ago when the videos were coming out about them because they look the exact same on the inside like if you look in here like there's the insole that's in there i can show you a bit of that it's the same insole as from like the rose anvil video when you looked at it same insole it looks like the counter cover if that's what i'm saying if i if i know what that is it's in there if you could see it uh-huh maybe well it, it looks the exact same i don't know if it's any better i don't know if it's any higher quality i don't have the um the extra pair of boots or the shekels to like cut these things in half and see on the inside if it's any better or the knowledge of how to do that but they're more expensive now so i really had to compare like buying tims or buying these i chose these i'm happy with my purchase i like them i'm gonna keep wearing them if you want to see like a video of these like in a week or two or a few weeks after the more broken in i could do that just give another like informative video about these boots because i like them i'm gonna wear them a lot i like the style i like everything about them. i like how thick they are like the the padding and everything like that so these are some cool boots i just wanted to do this video so people could like get an idea of what they look like and um if there's any increase in quality or just something to expect because if you're like if you're doing some like real construction work i think also in the rose anvil video i'm just quoting weston over and over and over again like maybe a mock toe maybe a thoroughgood is better more like applicable for like on concrete at all times but i think after a good break-in period these things will be great my goal with them is i i just want to have them broken in to the point where i can like i barely need to lace them i want boots like that because i feel like this style and the what is it the one piece or um i i forget the name of it the the tongue like this is better for that they look like they can be very very comfortable after you've taking the time to break them in so thank you for watching uh feel free to leave uh questions in the comments or anything like that and if you want to see this in a week or two weeks or something like that i'll be happy to post that but thank you Bye bye Mwah.